Hi, it's Pete McLeod here from Aardvark McLeod. Um, I'm going to give you another product review. Um, I think I needed some new wading boots because those are definitely past their prime. So, haha, what I've got here is a pair of Hodgman Vion interchangeable soled wading boots, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, my last ones have done me well, but I'm afraid they are definitely ready for the scrap heap. Um, so what's really exciting about these is they're an interchangeable sole system. Uh, I know that a number of different manufacturers have tried to make interchangeable soles or have done so successfully um, for, a few, for a few years now. But what I find particularly fascinating about these ones is that they, uh, they're a dual lock sole system. So, quick un unboxing here what do we got here whirling disease prevention excellent Hodgman well done uh, here is a description on how the H lock sole system works and here is the new boot in question so this is the new Hodgman Vion H lock boot um, my first impressions are it's a big solid hard construction boot. It looks like it's going to last a good long time. It's not that heavy for its size. I know it looks quite a big uh, clumpy boot, but um, it doesn't feel very heavy at all. Um, and looking at the specification, so this is the first, uh, first set of interchangeable sole boots I've ever had. Now this to me just makes perfect sense, whether you're going to be fishing either a river or you're going to be clumping around the banks of a, a lake or you know depending on which bottom variation you're going to be on sometimes you're on slippery boulders sometimes you have to walk into the area that you're going to which requires more of a hiking type sole because felt brilliant as we know in the um, on, on slippery rocks and things like that but it's utterly useless when you are start walking across mud or anything like that so here's an opportunity to combine the best of both worlds um, Firstly, I'm going to have a look at this H-lock system. So, reading the instructions, uh, it appears that I lift up this part here and I push this part in and the boot just literally slides and pops the whole sole off. That's really clever. So, I don't know if you can see there, you've got a situation where it locks in runners uh, on the sole of the boot. So, rather than being just caught in the front and the back, the entire sole locks down in four different spots. So you've got the lower one, you've got the middle one that it moves around, and you've got another one in the middle across your, the main part of your foot. And then you have this upper runner which will hold it nice and tight. And then you've got this massive great toe on the front. So you're not actually taking the weight of the interchangeable sole on the front of the boot. So to lock it back in, literally you just line it up, push it in, connect and make sure that all the runners are in the right place and then you just slide it in and that is not going anywhere at all that's brilliant I like that a lot so uh, let's have a look at some of the specifications on this boot so I'm just gonna pop this here for a second so my cheat sheet tells me that the Hodgman Vion H-Lock boots very cool name uh, have the H-Lock interchangeable system, um, which I'm going to go into in a little more depth in a second. They are neoprene lined for extra warmth, so uh, essentially rather than having all that water inside the boot sloshing around as you're walking a long way and you down, it doesn't get that far and just comes straight out of the runner system in the bottom. Um, so there are drainage ports that come straight through in the actual dual lock sole so the boot actually drains through the bottom of these, which actually clear these out at the same time, which is really very, very clever. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? It's a waterproof uh, new buck leather and hydro, hydrophobic synthetic upper. Can't even read my own writing. Uh, that essentially means that it's not gonna rot because a number of pairs of boots that I have, I'm, I'm terrible with boots, I'm sure that, uh, people probably look after them far better than I do but I'm afraid they just tend to get hurled in a bag at the end of the day and sorted out at a later date which is normally never um, and uh, that kind of anti-rot proof 
thing is going to go a long way to um, helping me out. Uh, the boot is double stitched construction. You can see double stitching all the way through, which again, I think is going to make it more durable. Uh, there is a D ring, which has been put in here for gravel guards as most waders these days come with a built-in gravel guard and a hook on the front. So rather than putting it on the laces and wearing out your laces, which invariably I've certainly done in the past, then you've actually got a D hook to actually put that on, which is cool. Um, there's a light wake, light weight, say that 20 times after you've had a drink, um, shock absorbing EVA midsole, which essentially means it's built more like a trainer. So it's much more comfortable to walk on uh, you get a bit of bounce and I don't know about you, but I have had bruised feet in my wading boots when clambering over rocks and that kind of thing. So I'm quite excited about that. Um, they are corrosion and salt waterproof, which means that I can wear them in the salt. So if I'm bass fishing or uh, I'm not sure, I'd probably use them in the tropics. A bit big, a bit black. Um, but certainly if I'm gonna go and paddle around for coastal estuary fishing or something like that, that means the salt water is not gonna rot them. The metal parts have all been made corrosion proof, which is great. Now there are four different soles that come with this boot. Uh, you have the straight rubber sole, which is this one here, which has got a great grip on the bottom, almost like a, um, uh, a cleated grip. Um, and then you have rubber and stud, um, and then you have felt, and then you have felt and stud. So I've got my spare felt and studs here, which come in this handy little packet. So we'll pop these open. Felt and stud, to be honest, has always been my favorite combination. Um, I know that it's becoming increasingly unpopular around the world, where they're now no longer allowed in Alaska and New Zealand. Uh, but countries like Iceland and Norway, as long as you disinfect them properly with a 3% Vercon solution, I'm comfortable um, in using them. But I've always found that felt and stud gives me easily the best uh, grip, um, especially on slippery rocks. So if I just make sure I've got the right boot here, I haven't. Incidentally, there's actually an area on the bottom of the sole that's got river names, so you could even have a separate pair of soles for the different rivers you're fishing to really prevent any form of uh, bacteria movement or anything like that. So I'm just going to pop that on there, line up the sliders, and there we go, locked straight on. And it's that easy. That's a really solid boot. I really, really like this toe as well. The number of times that I've gone through the toes of my wading boots so that's dead easy. Uh, so for example, you could use one set of soles like the rubber grip ones for hiking into the river that you're going into. And then when you get to the river, you can switch them out under your backpack and you can put the felt and stud on, which I think is a really clever idea. Uh, that's the, the dual lock system, I think, is really what makes these boots pretty revolutionary. Uh, the way that they slide in and lock in both places and you have to undo both locks to allow that sole to move at all. It means it's, it's really not going anywhere at all. So uh, very, very excited about those. And um, I think I'd better put them on quickly just to have a quick feel for how they feel. Right, okay. I'm gonna quickly throw these on. Well, I've got to say, even just wearing them with just my ordinary socks on, they're incredibly comfortable. So, they're so comfortable, I think I'm gonna wear them home. I've also just discovered uh, in the box is another set of felt, plain felt soles. So all in all, you get two sets of soles when you buy the boots, and then if you do what I did, which is to uh, buy an extra pair, just to make sure that I've got the felt and stud, then I think I've pretty much got everything that I need to cover every eventuality, whether I'm gonna be fishing it along the slippy edges of the Copper River in British Columbia, or whether I'm gonna be wading around in Iceland, or whether I'm gonna be falling in the chalk streams at home. Either way, I think I'm sorted. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next gear review. Thanks a lot.